Hi guys, I'm finally getting to the skin video. It's taking me forever, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna make this as quick as I possibly can. So, a couple of things I wanted to talk about um, that I listed above was chemical peels. So I'm gonna go over that really quick. So I do a lactic acid peel almost weekly. Um, if I do, um, if I leave it on for a really long time, I usually wait at least a week and a half to two weeks to do the next one. If I leave it on for maybe three to five minutes, I can continue that for once a week. Lactic acids are, or lactic acid peels are really mild depending on the percentage uh, or who you talk to. Um, and right now I'm using this one. It is a vegan lactic acid peel. Okay, I need to figure this out. And it's by Sweet Dream Susie. Um, I will link that below, but you can get them from her and it's like only $11. So it's a total catch. Um, but when I started it, I started it while I was pregnant my third trimester. They're really mild. I started at 25%. This one's now 70%. Um, yeah, so if you've never done peels before, I recommend first off talking to a professional. Secondly, um, going mild first and then slowly getting to a higher dosage of, um, percentage. And then, um, but that's like lactic acid, glycolic acid, sicilic acid. Those are really mild ones. Um, lactic is probably the most mild of all of them. Um, and then, so I, so a lot of people are like, oh, well, that sounds so scary. Well, I've literally been doing chemical peels since I was, I want to say 20 years old. So, um, I've been doing them forever. I'm now 30 going on 31. Um, and I can tell you that they work. They work for skin damage. They work for acne. They totally work for acne they work for, um, acne scars and they, they work for uneven skin tone. Obviously you get that from sun damage. Um, yeah, so they honestly are one of my greatest secrets to my skin. I love them a lot. And depending on what kind of one you get, you can get better results or you can get mild results. Uh, the strongest chemical peel I've ever done, I literally was like, peeling it off my face <laughs> like a mask it was crazy um and i saw results from that with this pregnancy i got melasma if you guys don't know what that is look it up on google but for a short story on what it is it's basically freckles on steroids and it's like all over here here and even right here and it looks like you have a mustache it's i hate it it's terrible people are like all over the internet getting freckle tattoos and I'm over here like get rid of them but mine are crazy they're like outlandishly crazy um so if you get Botox because a lot of women say oh don't do chemical peels get Botox Botox is a great um temporary um fix okay so it does look great i haven't done it before i actually have considered doing it recently because i smile so much now with my newborn baby that my little crow's feet are starting to show a lot um but if you do chemical peels um that's going to be more of a long lasting effect because it's actually helping to lift bad and damaged skin off of your face as opposed to um, Botox that's going to continue to leave those layers of skin on your face. It's just going to freeze those muscles um, in place so that they don't move as much, creating creases and lines on your uh, your smile lines and your laugh lines, everything. So I say if you do Botox, continue to do chemical peels because you're going to get twice the benefits um, if you do both. So moving on. Uh, the other thing I put on the list that I wanted to talk about was microneedling. I've done microneedling. I loved it. I'm totally all for microneedling. My next step in micro the microneedling world is I'm going to start using the little roller on my lips. So um, one of the things I mentioned in my list is collagen. So 
when the collagen leaves your face, it also leaves your lips. So if you can also run it over your lips, you're going to get a long-lasting effect in the plump in your lips and um, if after you roll it you put in some collagen or you can do like lip um, masks which are great especially if you live in really dry places and also um, rolling it over your lips and putting an oil on your face and your lips to help heal any damage um, and to hydrate which is like the most important piece of all of this so okay so Microneedling is amazing. I suggest it if you are over the age of 26. I don't suggest it um, any less than that because I don't really think it's necessary. Um, really what microneedling does is it helps to build up collagen into your skin and if you're between the ages of I don't know, 20, 19 to 25 your collagen is still pretty good to go. Once you start hitting the ages of 28 and up the collagen really starts to leave your lips. I noticed a decrease once I was 28. I noticed a really big decrease in um, how plump my lips are and um, just overall elasticity in my face and um, beautifulness. So moving on, um, I wanted to go over some products I use on the daily that I absolutely love um, and I totally recommend to people. They're really, some of them are really mild, some of them are really strong. I use each product depending on what my my skin really needs at the time so so when I was going through melasma and please don't judge me off of my nails I haven't had time to do them so they look really crappy um triple sorry let me see if I can get this this is called the triple C lightning liquid um it's amazing it's pure vitamin C it's very hydrating and it's going to help with brightening your skin tone if you want to help with unevenness in your skin and that kind of thing this is a great product i use this not very often um, but consistency is always key so when i do use it i'll use it um, for every day preceding that day um so like for like a week i used it every single night i didn't use it during the day because it is really really strong so it does not go well on your makeup so i recommend if you get something like this or this product that you use it at night when it's probably gonna be the most effective anyways. Cause at night's when your skin heals the most. So next product is a hydrating serum. So it has hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is great for obviously hydrating your skin, helping with fine lines. I use this one, it's by Skin Science. A lot of these products, they all have the same ingredients so I will go to TJ Maxx and I will buy these at like $3.99 and you can get them online for like $15 to $20. And keep in mind, like all of these products have the same ingredients, okay? It's not like, oh, one brand's better than the other. If the, that brand, the only way that brand is better than this one is if it has like a higher percentage or some random ingredient that you can't get somewhere else that's like from an island, from a random juice, who knows, just something crazy, okay? So don't pay a ton of money unless it's an ingredient you literally cannot find anywhere else for a cheaper price. Or you wanna make sure, here's the other thing, you do wanna make sure that the brand is telling the truth because some will put in like a very small percentage of hyaluronic acid in it and then like the rest is like say vitamin E, okay? So you do wanna be aware of those kinds of things. Um, a brand that I absolutely love and that I posted up about before in 2016 um, is this brand called Live, Live Crude. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. Oops. Crude. And again, I'll post these links. But Live Crude is seriously so amazing. So this brand, they give you... They like their whole thing is um, they live off of oils. So this glow oil I use every single night. I literally live off of this. I put it on my lips. I put it under my eyes. I put it on my face. I put it in my neck um, and I put it in my delicate areas right here because it literally works. It's so amazing. I love it. I will always suggest this to people. I have really oily skin, but the thing is, it's just because I have really oily skin doesn't mean my skin doesn't get dry. So to combat my dryness, I use the glow and it, and putting lotion on your skin also actually 
helps to combat really oily skin as well, which sounds weird, but for some reason they cancel each other out. So, um, they also have a cleanse, so you can take your makeup off, you can cleanse your face with oil. So, I, w I, I want to say this is called oil pulling, but um, I use this frequently to take off my makeup. I absolutely love it, and it makes my skin feel so great. Seriously, I love this brand. I'm all out of my glow. Sadly, I need to go buy some more. I'm not out of my cleanse, but um, if you want a great brand that's really sensitive to your needs, very hydrating and great for, um, I'm going to say, skin that's a little bit on the older side. However, they do um, help with acne. For some reason, um, putting oil on acne can also help to get rid of acne as well. So if you want, you can go to their website. I'll link below. Um, so let's see. Another product um, I want to talk about is my Peter Thomas Roth products. So I absolutely love Peter Thomas Roth. If you've seen on my social media, I have several of his products on there. This specific one helps to get dead skin off of your face. It's amazing. You can watch it. It's like magic. You put it on your face and you rub it in and it just sloughs off all of the dead skin on your face. I love this product. I also love all of Peter Thomas's, Peter Thomas's, Peter Thomas Roth's products there incredible. He also has a 24 karat gold mask that you can put on. Um, I think I've recommended this like a million times, but you can use this mask for weddings, special events, prom, dates, date night, anything. Seriously, your face is glowing for several days. I love that product so much. Um, and let's see, another one for that I use, um, probably not as consistently as I wish I did, but it's a Tone Perfecting Cream by Olay. Um, this is the Luminous product, it's all dirty. Um, you can see I use it a lot. But it is great for um, evening your skin tone and hydrating, but most, most specifically um, brightening and evening skin tone. So this is a great product to use every single night for um, dark spots on your face or melasma. This is also recommended for melasma, that's why I use it. Um, another brand I absolutely love that I've raved about before is Cora Organics. So Cora Organics is um, was created by Miranda Kerr. Um, she is or was a model for, for Victoria's Secret. I don't know if you know her, but she is really into skincare and she created this amazing brand that is based off of the Noni fruit. So growing up, and any of my good friends from my childhood would know this, that I used to drink noni juice growing up. And noni juice was like my saving grace for being sick. I never, I really never got sick as a child ever because I always drank that. And my dad, who struggled with diabetes, drank it a lot and it definitely improved his health um, for many, many years and even leading up to when he had cancer, it also helped with that. So um, her products are based off of Noni. So I bought the um, Noni Radiant Eye Oil and I like to use it at night just right here um, and a little bit in here. And uh, it's supposed to help brighten and um, smooth out the fine lines around your eyes. So <clears throat> I haven't seen a huge impact, but I haven't been as consistent as I'd like with this product. So I do believe in Noni, so I'm going to be more consistent with this, but I do recommend her products. Um, and then the last thing I want to talk about really quickly is um, facial sprays. So I have, here's the price of this facial spray. Anyways, I have a couple of facial sprays I use. The third one um, is by, it's the um, Lavender Rose and the Rose Water um, by, I want to say, um, Mario Badescu. I'm probably saying that wrong. Anyways, I usually have that one, but I have opted for a couple different ones. This one is aloe and rose water, and it's actually a tonic water, which helps to tone your skin instead of just hydrate. So I, I like to use this one at night and I will spray, I'll spray it, I can even spray it now. I'll spray it on my face and then I like to spray it right here to help with toning of the skin and hydrating it. Um, and then obviously like this is one of the best sprays ever Evian. I've used this for years. It's great for traveling. It's great to hydrate and freshen your face and your makeup. This is a go-to. Um, 
anyways, if you guys have any more questions about um, any of the products I use, um, feel free to comment below and I can answer more of your questions um, further in the future. So I hope that this answered any of the questions you might have, have had already. Um, and uh, good luck finding the skincare products that work for you because it is very individual. Everybody's skin is different. Um, and uh, But like I said, if you do have healthy habits um, for your skin, you're definitely going to eliminate a lot of the problems that you do have with your skin. But um, some of the things you can't always change are like hormones, which um, can cause all sorts of crazy things that you can't really change until you just kind of your body moves through that. So anyways, I hope you have an awesome day and thanks for listening and I'll talk to you later. Bye.